This man is really wealthy. I didn't even know that he's as wealthy as I heard. Ah, my God. Even if I don't get this job, I will cherish it for the rest of my life. At least I came here. What? Can you just control your excitement? Huh? You may be watching from one of these rooms. Huh? Of course. Really? Yeah. And listen, very important. You must be very, very, very careful when you're in the presence of Chief Arenza. I don't want you to bring up this smart attitude of yours. Behave the way you behave and when you do your speech. Don't even try to act smart. Look, you see all these rich people? These rich men, they are very, very sensitive when they are dealing with low class. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I do. And guess what? You get to be paid well if you get this job. Hey, good. And most importantly for our agency, we don't want to miss such an important client. Please, so comport yourself. I will, no problem. Come, on, let's go. Okay. Come on. Hey. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm from the agency. Oh, Chief is expecting you. Come with me. Thank you. What should I offer you? Tea or biscuit? Wine or whiskey? Go well, fine. Thank you very much. Madam? Mm, I'm fine, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Mm. In response to your request, sir, the agency have decided to provide you with the services you asked for. This is Judith Samo. She's from Imo State, Nigeria. She's 30 years of age, and she's a qualified nurse from the University of Calabar Nursing School, Cross River State. And she's been practicing in the East before she came down to Lagos. My wife died 10 years ago and left Amanda for me to raise when she was just 13. The need to see Amanda grow up happy has been my driving force to accomplish because she's all I've got. Recently, my doorman and cook traveled back to Uyo and may not be returning. So I need someone who can look after my daughter and myself. My angel, how are you? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sit down. <sighs> Sit down. Thank, Thank you, sir. Ah. My angel, the agency has sent a replacement. Oh, I see. This is my daughter, Amanda. As I was saying, Judith, I need someone who can take care of us and be a companion to my daughter. You think you can do that? By God's grace, sir. God cannot say yes if you have not said so. I believe I can, sir. That's better. Do you drink? God forbid. It's poison. 
Uh, Poison? Uh, no, sir, I meant for me. It's poison to me. Okay. And, um... You smoke? So that will be committing suicide. No. As, so I actually meant it's good for some people. <laughs> then what's your vice? Sir? What's your passion? Passion. They say everyone has something that will eventually make them or kill them. What's yours? Sir? <laughs> Do you enjoy sex? Jesus. What kind of question is this one? Man? Then you must be a very naive lady. And surprisingly so. Uh, 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 sir, sir, I promise you, sir. I am very, very good at my work. I'm very good, sir. I'll hire her. Hey. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. My secretary will settle with your agency. Thank you very much. Hmm? Thank you very much. My angel. When she brings her luggage in, show her around and to her room. Sure, we'll do that, hmm? Daddy. Good day, Eric. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. Come, let's go get your things. <laughs> You're so beautiful. And you are so handsome. Oh, mm -hmm. You know, I think I'm so lucky to have you. Oh, I think I'm lucky. No about that. Come here. Mm. <laughs> Let somebody know. Judith. Amanda, yes. I see you came with your luggage this time. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Come meet my fiance. His name is Dave. Dave meets Nurse Judith. She is the one replacing Mr. Item. You know he left for you this morning. Yes, that's true. Good afternoon, sir. How do you do, Nurse Judith? I'm fine, thank you, sir. You nice welcome. to meet you. Yes, yeah, nice to meet you too. You're very welcome. <laughs> thank you. Um, sweetheart, I would have to take her and show her around the house. Okay. Are you waiting? Um, nope. As a matter of fact, I have some friends to catch up with. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Why don't you show Nurse Judith around mm -hmm. while I catch up, then I'll call you as quick as I can. Okay, you do that, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Judith, mm -hmm. it's this way. Okay. Okay, sir. Finally, we are back to square one, where we began from. Amanda, this is a very big house, and it's so fine. Um, if I may ask, what about all the domestic stuff? Well, the cleaner and the gardener usually come three times a week. They do their job and then they leave. Daddy doesn't like crowd except for Mr. Atim, who was residing here with us because he was the cook. Oh. 
I see. Um, one last thing. Hmm? Look. Usually we have our breakfast by 7 a.m., lunch by 1 p.m., and dinner by 7 p.m. Anything later than that, Daddy and I won't be able to eat. And everyone, including yourself, we all eat at the same time on the same table. Huh? You mean everyone, including myself, will sit on the same dining table with Chief Arinze? Ah. Oh, thank you. I prefer to eat in the kitchen. Well, that is the rule of the house. Um, it's almost time for lunch, so I'll leave you to settle in. I'll see you in the kitchen. Huh? Ha! So how are you coping? Hi. Well, I'm doing okay. I'm fine. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what do you think about him? Oh. <laughs> um, well, your dad, I really don't I know I am much. not talking about my dad. I am talking about my Dave. Oh. Do you know we'll be getting married in a couple of months from now? Wow. Yes. Are you serious? Well, that's good. <laughs> nice. Where is he from? So tell me, where is he from? He is um, from somewhere in the middle belt. Yes. But he was born and brought up in Lagos. Yeah. Middle belt. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised though. You mean that your father allowed you to marry someone from the middle belt? I thought he was somewhere from the maybe southeast or something. <laughs> Look, I don't think there's anything wrong in that. What matters is that he loved me and I love him too. So. Do you know he is my first boyfriend and my only boyfriend ever? And I love him so much. I mean, he means the world to me. That's good, you know. As long as you're both in love with each other. And what we all need is just to be happy in life. And I am so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, um, not to worry. Food will be ready in 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to leave you to it. Okay, right. then. <laughs> Where is Nurse Judith? Excuse me, Daddy. Nurse Judith, you're keeping us waiting at the dining. problem is this now? Huh? How am I supposed to now eat on the same dining table with Chief? The food will even pass my throat. Shall we say the grace? Yes. Father, Lord, thank you for the food we're about to receive as we eat it. May we derive all its benefits in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Well, enjoy your meal. Sure. This food tastes good. You can say that again. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Alex, how are you? Do you know I was talking to my mother on the phone about you? Yes, I just did. It's not well, no. It is not well at all. What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm not alright, Judith. You see, as I'm talking to you now, I'm on the streets waiting for the landlord to go to bed before I can enter my own room. Eh? I've been hiding from him, running up and down. That man has vowed to disgrace me because of the house rent. Eh? The house rent I told him about. Alex, please, you need to be patient. Just give me some time. Once I collect my salary, I will send it to you. Please, just try and manage. Eh, I, I'll just try and I'll be dodging him for a while. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Please. Yeah? Just take good care of yourself. I'll call you. Okay? I'll call to check on you. Take care of yourself. Okay, Judith. Thank you. All right, then. Bye-bye. Bye. No, Judith. No, Judith. No, Judith. No, Judith. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. My dad is losing his breath. He's very ill. Please come with me. Oh, my God. Come on, let me get my kids. Okay, hurry up. Hurry up, okay? Daddy. Chief, how do you feel now? I... I feel like I'm losing my breath and then I have a splitting headache. Um... What I would do is get you some analgesic for the headache. Then wait till tomorrow to see how the blood pressure is. You have to take it to the hospital or I'll have to call the doctor. Okay. Um, sorry, Chief, but do you have any history of high blood pressure? Um, not that I can remember. No. Okay, um, Amanda, can you please get me a glass of water? Sure. Yeah. can go to bed now. Not to worry, he'll be fine. I'll watch him. Yeah. You sure? Yes, I will. I'll watch him. Oh, Chief, I think you should. Make yourself more comfortable.
Chief, do you, do you need anything? Do I need to get you anything? What are you doing here when you should be sleeping in your room? Chief, I had to monitor you. Look, I'm all right. Go and sleep, okay? Uh, Chief, I'm sorry, but no. It's my duty to be here. I said go and sleep. Go. Get out of here. Go and catch some sleep. It's an order. Uh, but Chief, where are you going to? I want to go and ease myself. Go and sleep, Nurse Judith. Go. Chief, are you sure? Go, go and sleep. I'll be all right. Good morning, Daddy. <laughs> Good morning. Daddy, how do you feel today? I feel yes. okay. Oh, great. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How, how do you feel, sir? I feel much better. <laughs> I ordered you to go to sleep. Sorry, sir, I disobeyed. I needed to monitor you. Uh, but you're okay, sir? Yes, I'm fine. Okay, sir. Um, I'll go make breakfast. Thank you, Mr. Jessica. My right, child. <laughs> you're okay now, Daddy. <laughs> Cigar now. Uh, Chief, no. Sorry, you can't smoke. It's not good for your health. Okay. Amanda, you don't mind? Sure. Go ahead. You can have this. Thank you. Um, I'll go make everyone breakfast. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, my cigar. What about my cigar? Chief, drink juice, please. <laughs> Chief, excuse me, sir. This is not good for you. 
Breakfast is served. I really need your help. Judith, you look worried. What is it? Amanda, I am worried. Uh, your dad, mm -hmm. he asked me to accompany him to a dinner tonight. Is that why you're worried? Look, it is nothing to worry about, okay? I have once accompanied him to this, one of those numerous dinners. It was a bit boring, but you have fun. Mm. Have fun. Just take a good look at me. Mm -hmm. Am I not going to disgrace him there? Oh, come on, Judith. You're a very beautiful woman. And you're fun to be with too. Look, I know you will make my dad very happy. And I think my dad is beginning to like it. So go on, have fun. <laughs> uh, but Amanda, I don't have what to wear. No dress, hair. Look, do, do not worry. That is why I am here. Just allow me to finish what I'm doing now. We'll go out to get you something. I'll fix you, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Okay. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's okay, trust me. Hey, Judith. Hmm? You know, I was worried about Dave not calling me since he came back. But guess what? He called me like he said he will. And he said he'll be coming over this evening to ask for dad's permission to take me out. I'm so happy for you. You see? I told you not to worry that he was going to call. Yes, you did. Thank you. And thank you for helping me out. Sure, it's nothing. <laughs> Goodness, you're beautiful. Thank you. God bless the day I found you. Shall we? editing those ones. No, I haven't yet, but I will. But you need it's to crop so from here. Well, here, so here. Same. Oh my God. Wow. 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 <laughs> Judith. Oh my I God. Mean, you look absolutely stunning. Daddy, you look good too. Thank you, my children. <laughs> you look so glamorous. Thank you. Dave, welcome back. When did you come back from the north? Um, yesterday. Okay. 
Well, I guess I'll, I'll see you people when we come back. We have a dinner date. Okay. Yes, sir. How far? Yes, sir. Uh, so, sorry, if I may. Um, I'd like to take Amanda out tonight. I hope we we can. Okay. Yes. <laughs> as long as you promise to bring her back safe. Of course. And on time too. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Sir. You're Thank welcome. you, Daddy. Have fun. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, <clears throat> did you enjoy yourself, my dear? Yes, I did, Chief. Um, thank you so much, Chief. Oh, please, my I pleasure. Have, I have never in my entire life seen such concentration of wealthy and rich people. <laughs> and you'll keep seeing them from now henceforth. Chief, are you serious? Absolutely. Thank you. Judith. Hmm? Since you came into this house, you have brought back smiles and laughter. It's as if the sun has just risen around me. Look. I'm glad I hired you. And I'm glad I found you. With every day that passes, my fondness for you just grows more and more. And I want to ask, will you marry me, Judith? Chief, an ordinary nurse like me, marry Chief Arinzi. Chief, I think it's high time you went to bed, eh? It's getting late. Listen, listen, listen. I am not drunk. Will you marry me? Chief, let's go to bed. Eh? Maybe when I wake up in the morning, I'll be sure I'm not dreaming. Judith, sit down. Hmm? Sit down. Look, any man would be happy to have you as a wife. Now I ask you again, will you marry me? Excuse me. Uh. Yes, this is Chief Arinza's residence. Speaking. My daughter has been involved in an accident? With a young man. How? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Are my daughter and the young man safe? Oh God. Oh God. All right, I'll be there immediately. Amanda and Dave have been involved in an accident. Oh my God. Dave is dead. And Amanda is in a critical condition. Oh my God, Chief. Chief, we need to go there immediately. Your daughter was involved in an accident last night at about 8.30 p.m. and she was rushed here about 20 minutes later. According to police reports, it was um, in the car with another young man, a male, I mean, a young man of about 25 years. And it is believed that the young man was the one that was driving. Unfortunately, we lost him. He died on the spot. Oh my God. Dave. Carry on, Doctor. It was, um, it was observed that the young man was driving under the influence of alcohol. It was why he, it was why, you know, he drive recklessly. And he plunged headlong into a packed truck. Took the impact very badly on the chest. And um, unfortunately, he died. Your daughter was fortunate to have been pulled out of the wreckage alive. But um, after preliminary tests, we discover that um, the spinal cord may have been slightly affected. And that was exactly the reason why they transferred her to my unit. Doctor, will my daughter be all right? Chief, the important thing is that she's alive. And that is what we have to be very thankful to God about. If she's alive, then we'll do everything that we can to see that she's okay. Please do everything you can to make sure my daughter is all right. She's all I have. Please. Please. We will do all we can. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chief. feel about Amanda but please I need you to be strong we need you to be strong because of your health reason you have done everything within your power to see that she is fine please Amanda will be fine It's been one whole month and my daughter has not spoken a word to me or anyone. If only she could share her pains with me or anyone else for that matter. Chief, don't forget that she's traumatized. You need to give her some time. Besides, you have done everything that money can get medically for her. Please, 
Not to worry. With time, Amanda will be fine. You need to consider your health as well. Okay. Please, I would need you to take your medication and rest. Thank you. Transfer from this side, this side. Yeah, especially here. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Welcome, Chief. Um, as you can see, we have done our best. And um, I want to suggest that you hire a physiotherapist to continue from here. I also want to suggest that you take good, very, very good care of her. As you can see, she blames herself for the accident that took place. Show her more love so that she'll be able to come out from this state of mind. It's a huge trauma. Okay. Okay. What do you think are her chances of working again? Mm, it's 50-50. It's 50-50, and whichever way it swings depends on her to work or not. The important thing is for her to develop this desire to work, to fight, to work. That is the important thing, and she needs the encouragement. Okay. We'll do our best to encourage her. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. For Thank, you. You. Thank you. Wish you all the luck. Thank you. Thank you. Get the wheelchair. Pleasure to welcome you back home after two months away at the hospital. Amanda, your dad has done everything for you. Please, you have to recover now. Your family is right behind you. It's my fault. Don't say that. Daddy, it's my fault. I would have driven the car knowing. He was drunk, but I didn't, so it's my fault. Maybe this accident won't have happened if I had driven the listen, car. Listen, listen, listen. It's not your fault, my daughter. It's not. I'm very sure you warned him against drinking. Just like I'm sure you, you offered to drive the car, but he refused, didn't he? So it's not your fault. It was bound to happen. It's just un unfortunate that he passed away. So please, just take heart, okay? Hmm? We have missed you so much, and we're really happy that you're back home. And see, see, we have remodeled and refurnished your room. Hmm? Okay? Come. 
let's help you. Just need you to be strong, okay? How is she responding to your therapy? Sir, the way I see it, her chances of working again is 50-50. And that will really depend on her willpower. It's as if she doesn't have a desire to live again, let alone walk. I think her problem is more of emotional than medical. It's okay, sir. Excuse me, let me monitor her therapy. Thank you, sir. Alex, how are you? Judith, I I'm not fine, no. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. The heat is on again now. The heat is on. Eh? No, they, they pursued 16 of us from the factory work. Eh, now, the small factory work I, I, I was using to manage. Uh, they said it's, um, they, they said it's recession, recession. Alex. Listen, eh? God has answered our prayers. He has answered our prayers. Remember what I told you, eh? Chief has proposed. <laughs> yes, God has finally answered our prayers. Not to worry, okay? Eh? Not to worry. It's just that everywhere is tight right now. Eh? Everywhere is tight. Chief's daughter had an accident. Eh? And she just got back home. Okay? Oh, don't worry. I will still find something to, to send to you. <laughs> when now, Judith? When? See, as I'm talking to you now, I'm on the streets. I'm on the street of Lagos. I don't even know where I'll sleep tonight because I can't go back to your house. And I can't even go back to Edgar's place because his woman is around. Eh? Alex, manage now. <laughs> can't you just manage for a little while? Manage. Okay. You know what? Um, I will be at the park with Amanda tomorrow. Can you just come around? At least let me see you and find something for you. Something for you to manage. Is that okay? okay you find something and give me. Okay, now nah, I'll call you. Thank you. Okay, see you later. Bye.
Hold on. Alex, where are you? I'm at the park. I'm at the park. Come towards the park. Uh, okay. Okay, here, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, because. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Hi. This place is fine, no? I, I, you know this place is fine, so I was going to the other side. I'm fine, I did it. I'm good, you? <laughs> fine. Alex, meet Amanda. Amanda, meet my cousin, Alex. Good afternoon, Amanda. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Pleased to meet you too. Hey! Hey! Uh, what is that? Your hand is, is shocking people. The thing is doing me grim grim. I, yeah, I, I, I don't feel one kind of new energy. Just, oh. <laughs> the energy is new. You're funny. <laughs> and, uh, I was just uh, trying to make sure you don't make the same mistakes my parents made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I can see that both of you are getting along. I'll go get you guys something to drink, okay? Thank okay. you. I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so tell me, what mistake were you talking about? You see, um, when I was a child, my parents had two kids. So in the compound that we are staying, face me, I face you, there were plenty, plenty tenants there. So they used to fight all the time. And uh, my mom is the one that used to <laughs> lead the fight, but at the end, they would beat her. <laughs> <laughs> so in the night, so my mom would not be lamenting <laughs> to my dad that they are beating her all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is why, all the time. So that is because of um, they don't have a a, a son yet. So that's why they are beating her. So as God we do it now, my mom took him. They now had a son, which is me. <laughs> <laughs> so with the joy, like my father now named me Alexander the Great. <laughs> but unfortunately for them, still as I was growing up, I was a weakling. You know, I was not strong at all. So one day like that. I went out, someone now beat me. Only my, for my mom to find out that there is a girl of my age. <laughs> <laughs> they beat me, beat me, beat me consecutively. Yay. So the thing got her more angry. She now went to meet my dad. She was lamenting. Like, when you wanted to give a name to this boy, why did you even give him Alexander the Great? Oh, the names. Yeah. So uh, my mom now said um, she will be calling me Kenna. That's uh, my father's strength. Yeah, so that was it. So it now became Ikenna, your father's strength, and no longer Alexander's yeah, nah, strength. Because of the plenty, plenty beating all the time. Oh. But um, but my father refused though, with faith. He said he would keep on calling me Alexander, Alexander the, the Great. Great. My mom said uh, she would be calling me Ikenna. But one day, someone now suggested to my mom that since you said your boy is weak, mm. if you start feeding him with uh, protein, plantain and beans, soya beans, anything that has to do with a protein. Maybe one day he will have, he will have strength. <laughs> so the, that is how my journey for soya beans and the uh, protein started. <laughs> they didn't know that the thing was purging me. Before we know it, uh, protein started running my tummy. <laughs> Anywhere she to catch me, I spit in the <laughs> I spit in the cup. Oh my god! And my tummy run me. I spit in the cup. You so it. My mom was packing shit of protein. Uh, Since uh, it's only plantain and beans, they are feeding me with. So that was the ordeal of Alexander the Great. The oh, Alexander. So funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, no, no. There's another. Wow. Mm? I was telling her Alexander the Great. So. Mm. Oh, thank you. Okay. Use it. Crunchy popcorn. This one will be doing crum crum crum. Let me let me know open it now. When you <laughs> I have never seen a man that funny all oh my life. I swear the part where he said the rat thing, it was funny. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> It did not be good. <laughs> so, um, tell me about him. He's so funny. I know, right? Yes. <laughs> is is he your boyfriend? Boyfriend? Yeah. No. 
He's my cousin. Okay. Yeah. I like him a lot. He has a great sense of humor. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God! Like he's so funny. Absolutely <laughs> funny. I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> yes. Oh. Daddy. Hmm. May I know what my ladies are discussing, <laughs> so that I can join in the laughter? No, Daddy. It's girls' talk. Thank really? You. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me who has wrought this magic on my daughter. <laughs> um, actually, Chief, um, she met my cousin. Yes, and really? they put, you know, they just hit it up and he, he has a very good sense of humor. Oh. Yes, so <laughs> he was at his best today. That's good. Would you mind inviting him over? Mm. I'd like to see my daughter laugh and laugh and laugh again and again. Okay, Chief, no problem. I'll do that. Oh. Um, Chief, this is Alex, um, my cousin. Alex, how are you? Fine, sir. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much, sir. Please sit down. Um, Chief, so let me go to the kitchen and make something for everyone to eat. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Mm. Alex, sir. you've already met my daughter, Amanda. Yes. The impact of your meeting has been a very remarkable one on her because you've brought back smiles to her face. I'm happy about that. Thank you, sir. It rekindles my hope of my daughter walking again. Because I believe if she's happy again, she will definitely walk again. By God's grace, sir, I believe she'll walk again. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Um, Judy told me a little bit about you. Uh, I want to say that in good time, I'll see what I can do to help you get a job. Okay? You, you help me to get a job? Of course. Hey, thank you very much. Please, 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 Alex, please. No, let me thank you, Smoza. No, it's okay. Please sit down, sit hey, down. Hey, you're for me. Sit down, sit down. Thank you. And I want to let you know that you're free to come here anytime. Thank you very much, Good afternoon, Amanda. Good afternoon. I didn't know you were here. Dad? <laughs> I'm just meeting him, too. I understand he's uh, Judith's cousin. Yes. I have met him before and he's such a nice person. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Alex, make yourself comfortable. Thank you very much, sir. But um, it's very difficult to be comfortable, especially in this kind of table. <laughs> Why is that? Um, it's just that uh, in my family in the East, where I'm coming from, the level of hunger is very high. So whenever I remember it, I'm just, yeah, I'm just conscious of it. <laughs> yes, sir. Is, is it that bad? Very bad, though. Very, very bad. In fact, there is this my neighbor. Their level of poverty is so pathetic that all the rats in our area just deserted them. <laughs> In, in our side there, in the east. So, um, <laughs> to be comfortable on the table like this, sir, it should take me time. <laughs> yeah, Amanda. <It's> so funny. <laughs> ah, here comes the woman of the house. Yes, this food is ready. <laughs> well, well, well. Madam Judith.
I kind of like this place. The ambience, the feeling. Nice. Don't you like this place? Hey. And what is she thinking about? <laughs> Where did you go to? I wish I had met you under a different circumstance. When I could walk. I know and believe that you can walk again. Yes, it's in you. Everything is in your mind. All you need to do is hunger for it. Then the determination will just come and before you know it, the push will just drive you and you will get up and walk from this chair. Amanda, yes, you can do it. See, see, the greatest joy you can give to your dad now knows Judith and, and even me is to get up and walk from this chair. If you can walk for me, Amanda, I will love you more and stick with you forever. You will? Yes. I promise you, just to show you how much I love you, I promise you I would walk for you again. I will. I believe you can walk. You will walk. I will. I will walk. Walk for me. Walk for your dad. I will. Um, please come in. Hello, Tissio. Good morning. You're Hi, <laughs> Amanda. Good morning. You are cheerful and eager to get on with today's exercise. Well, I am not just ready to get on today's exercise. I am ready to walk. Woo, that's good. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get started. Please help me up. Sure? Yes. Woo. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is... Oh. Yeah. Easy. Okay. okay. Let's okay. go of my hands now. You'll be fine? Yes, I'll be fine. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. Wow. I can do it. Easy. Easy. Okay. Yes. Easy. Okay. Good. Good. Oh, I, I can do it. I can, I can do it. Just help me up again, please. Okay. Sure. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh my god. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I just have to. I can walk. I can do it. Okay. I know. Okay. You Let's go. Sure. Yes. Let's go. All right. Oh. Easy. E easy, girl. Easy. Not doing badly at all. Oh. Okay. Okay. No! Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Oh. oh. I'm so sorry, dear. I want to walk. I want to make her legs proud of me. I want my dad to be proud of me. I, I just have to walk. I have to walk. Don't worry. Okay, just take it easy. Don't be too hard on yourself. You will walk. Trust me. And you know, I really must commend you. This is awesome. I didn't think you would do this. You will be fine, okay? Let me help you up again so you can sit down. Okay? Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you've done well. I tried. I really tried. I tried to walk again, but I couldn't. I failed. I disappointed you and my daddy. Amanda, is, is that why you're sad? Listen, my love, if you don't walk today, you will walk tomorrow. Hey, 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 Amanda, look beyond.
beyond this phase. What do you mean by that? I'm looking at when I'll register you in the contest for the prize of Miss World. Alex, Alex, you know cripples don't contest for beauty pageant. Do you really think I would ever walk again? Okay, have you ever seen a cripple contesting at the Miss World? Amanda, I believe you will. I'll be your manager and I'll stand behind the podium watching you cat walk. <laughs> watching you do this. I, 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 oh, 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 I wish you could see me demonstrate it now. <laughs> you, you mean... You are catwalking there? Of course, I'm skanking and doing that second. <laughs> uh, hello? Alex, can you hear me? Live. Live and direct, I'm here. Alex, you've brought so much happiness into my life. You've made me smile again. Alex, I want you to promise me. Please, I want you to promise me that you would never leave me, please. I will not. I can never ever leave you. But, babe, promise me you will work for me. If that is the last thing I will do, I promise I will work for you again. I will. I, I, be I believe you. I believe you. I love you. When I lost my wife, I thought my whole world had crashed. And when I asked for a nurse and a maid, I didn't know I had asked for a wife. Judith, I'm glad I found you. Chief, I'm happy and glad that I make you happy. I love to make you happy. But every time that I try to share in your happiness, my heart locks. Uh, Chief, no, it's not your fault. It has nothing to do with you. It's me. I mean, our words are far apart. And I just feel like, I feel like it's a dream that, that will never come true. Listen. Love doesn't have a background. You must learn to trust me and begin to see yourself as my wife. Soon, my feelings for you will be consummated. I don't have the words or the language to qualify what I feel for you. Maybe it's love. But I'm certain about one thing. I want you by my side for the rest of my life. So, free your mind and learn to be happy. I believe everything will work out fine. Trust me. Honestly, Daddy, I love him very much. I don't want to lose him. Daddy, I want to marry him. I understand how you feel, Amanda. 
but it is a man that proposes marriage to a woman and not the other way around. Daddy, Alex is intimidated by your wealth and for that reason he may not find the courage to propose to me boldly. Daddy, please, I do not want to lose another loved one. You will not lose him. Listen, the truth of the matter is that not many men would like to be saddled with a physically challenged woman. I'm just being very honest with you. Certainly not many Africans and least of all Nigerians. They want a woman who is hardworking and supportive. I want to ensure that whoever is coming to propose to you is doing so because he truly loves you, not because of my money. Someone who will be there for you through thick and thin. It's almost time for your program, so just go back home, relax a bit, then I set you up to rest. I kind of like the last episode of Telemundo. <laughs> it's Charlie when that guy was just kissing her and the whole emotion was just showing. <laughs> Don't you like it too? Babe, you kind of quiet. Alex, can I ask you a question? Of course you can ask me anything. What is it? If you were handicapped, what will you be missing? Well, I think I'll miss doing certain things. I'll miss going to certain places. And I'll miss visiting certain people because they might not want to be saddled with my situation as a handicap. Wait. Why did you ask? Does that mean you can't marry me because I'm handicapped? Does, mm. it, does it mean a handicapped person does not have the right or the opportunity to choose who they want to be with or to choose their loved ones? No, no, no. That, that was not what I meant. I, I mean, I was just answering you Alex, randomly. Alex, that was what you meant. I knew it. Do you know what? Just go. Go, I don't ever want to see you again. <laughs> no, no, Amanda. That, Look, you, oh, Alex, just go. Amanda, you only asked me. No, don't touch me. Uh, okay, Amanda, please. Don't touch me. Just go. Uh, Amanda. Go. Amanda. Yeah, I, I was, you do. I thought you loved me like I love you. No, I was not talking go. about. Go. Amanda. You only asked me. I only answered you randomly now. Amanda, what, what is it? Daddy, I, Daddy, I just want to die. I just want to die, Daddy. I don't even want to see him again. I don't think he loves me. I don't even want to see him again. Amanda, Amanda, come. Talk to me, what is it? Please help me talk to her. I can't bear to see my daughter suffer like this. I will. Amanda, that was very wrong of you. You shouldn't have told him to go. He wasn't referring to both of you. You asked him a general question 
And he answered you generally. That was really, really wrong. God, what have I done? I, I, I have made a mistake. Listen, I think you should be happy that he was frank. Alex loves you as much as you love him. Yes, he does. And you need to try and walk. You need to. Alex doesn't mind you being crippled or being on the wheelchair. He loves you that way. He told me himself. He did? Yes, he did. Oh, my God. They have chased him away. Please, no, Judith. You have to help me. Call him. Beg him for me, please. I think you should call him. Okay. Wrong, but he did pick. I guess he's very hungry with me now. to walk. Daddy, I want to walk again. I don't want to lose my loved one because I'm handing up. I don't want to lose him. I want him back. I want to walk. It's okay, <laughs> it's okay my darling. Hmm? You won't lose him. All right? Don't lose hope, okay? okay? Don't cry anymore, okay? It's okay. okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Please, can you help me up? Oh, sure. Here. Sure. Okay. Yeah, gently. Great. Yeah. 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 Oh, awesome. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Wow. This is beautiful. You can do it. Yes. Don't push too hard. Just. Yes. Yes. Just tell yourself that you can do it. Yes. Yes. That's the spirit. Yes. Go. Go. Yes. All right. Yes. Try, yes. Try. 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 Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. I'm Let so sorry. Let go of me. Let go of me. Oh. I will never walk again. Oh, come on. Don't talk no, like no. that. Let go of me. Let go of me. Just go. Go. Let I'm so sorry. Me. Go. I don't ever want to see you again. I don't know where. Go. I can't walk. I can't walk again. I can't. I can't walk. <laughs> Please don't be too hard on yourself, okay? <laughs> you can walk. Go, just go. Just go.
Judith. Uh, please, can you help me call Alex? Since he left, it appears uh, Amanda's happiness has also vanished. And you know, the possibility of her walking again depends on her happiness. Hmm. Can you help me call him? I will, Chief. I understand. Okay. I'll do that. All right. Thank you. I've never loved like this before. Ever. I don't know, I don't know what's happening to me. I don't even understand. Is, is it that Amanda does not know that I love her? Eh? Are my feelings not evident enough? Oh, I wish you can actually see through one's heart and know when the person actually loves you. Oh, he said that her situation is making her feel so hopeless. <laughs> but I, I loved her from the very first day I, I saw her and I, irrespective of her situation. No, no. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to push. I'm not going to push. I'm, I'm not going to try to force myself to prove to her that I love her. To seem as if it's because of her father's wealth. No. God, God knows it's not. God knows it's not. I can uh, This is the first time I'm loving like this. This is the first time I'm actually loving like this. Hello, Judith. Alex, are you okay? I'm just there. It's about Amanda, right? Alex, I know. But there's something I need you to know. You know how these rich people are. Yes, you know, that they get too touchy, especially when it comes to people that are not on the same level as they are. No, she was just only trying to reassure herself because she loves you and she needs to be sure that you love her too. Please, Alex, just call her. You know that Amanda needs all the love and support that she can get right now. Hello, are you there? Um, I'm here, I can hear you. Okay, um, I've heard you. I'll call her. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Bye. Judith, Judith, no, Judith, so somebody help me. 
Daddy, I have to get to try to. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, oh, no. I can't even get my food. I can't get this damn food. Hello, my darling Amanda. It's not really you, Alex. Please, please, baby. Please. I am, I am very sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for what I did. Please, forgive me. Just calm down now. Calm down. I'm not angry with you. How can I even be angry with you? Well, you know how much I love you. You, you do? Alex, you still love me. God, I love you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you, Alex. My love. My love, I, I walked. I, I, I just walked. My love, I just walked for you. you. You're walking? Okay, okay. Just just stay like that. Stay like that. I'm, I'm coming to see you walk. Just, just wait there. You walk. I'm, go I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, baby. I love you. Oh, my God. I walked. I walked. Oh my god, I'm doing it. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking. <laughs> Daddy, I can't walk. My goodness. Yes. Amanda. Yes, Daddy. You can walk. Daddy, I can't walk. You're walking. Yes, Daddy. I can't walk. Oh my god. <laughs> Daddy. My goodness. Daddy. My goodness. Daddy. <laughs> oh my daughter! My daughter can walk again. Amanda, Judith. Oh my Amanda can walk again. Yes. My daughter can walk again. They can walk again. Oh my God! They can walk again. I'm so happy for you. Oh my God! They can walk again. <gasps> what is Amanda? Is it true she cannot walk? Yes, she can. She can help? Mm -hmm. Alice, my love. Thank you. Thank you so much. See? I walk for you, my love. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your support. I love you. Amanda, I love you more. Amanda, Amanda, I, I, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Alex, promise me. Promise me you would never leave me, no matter what. Promise me. Amanda, I will never ever leave you. I love yeah. you. <coughs> Please lend me your ears. I'd like to make an announcement. For my immediate family members, I, I want you to hear this before I throw a big wedding party. Exactly two weeks from today, we shall all travel to the East to commence my traditional marriage rites with my lovely Judith here. Come on. Oh, Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. And on that same trip, my family will be hosting your family, Alex, for the introduction, bride prize, and traditional marriage of you and my daughter, oh my Amanda. Oh my God.
God. So it will be a double celebration. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I think we should drink to this. Let me get some drinks. Drinks? Chief, you know drink is not good for you. Yeah, I think we should just go out and have something to eat. We will go out, but let us start something here, at least to, to seal this occasion. Chief. A little drink won't do anybody any harm. Hmm? We'll go out later, huh? Come and help me get some glasses. <laughs> <laughs> What can I say? Let's just pop this drink and uh, know that we have sealed the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> right. mm. This is the moment to celebrate and remember. Yes. That's a good chief. You first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right. To our love lights. Yes. Cheers. Chief, why did you lift my hope and dash it to the ground again? Why did you leave me when I needed you most? What kind of evil luck has befallen me and my life? For once, I thought that Judith from the poor family who saw herself through school and to Lagos, the land of dreams, has escaped poverty through marriage to a rich man. Only for that or fate to deal me this upper cut blow. Oh God, why, why? What happens to me now? Where do I go from here? I'm back to square one. Let me check who's at the door. Hold on, I'm coming.
Hello. Hey, this is Miss Caroline from Anderson and Anderson Chambers. Oh, I have been expecting her. Please sit down. Oh, thank you. Okay, then um, I'll just excuse both of you. Oh, so how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, I see. Um, well, the chamber called this morning to do exactly what your father wanted us to do at his passing away. And um, it's exactly three weeks after. Okay, so I will need you to sign some documents which acknowledges that you've seen your late father's estate. And um, it will be made available to you and also be handed over to you. Okay? So, let's do that now. And then, being the sole beneficiary of his will, the chamber has spared you the agony of. Um, I need you to sign here. Okay. Since you're the sole proprietor, so we we'll save you the agony of going through the will. Okay. I'll be off for now. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. I guess I have to leave now. All right, there. Just take care of yourself, okay? All right. Bye. You'll see your way out, right? Yes, I will. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Sweetheart. Baby. Baby! I'm coming! You called for me? Yes, baby. The lawyer just left. Okay. Baby, I don't think I am ready. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I am ready to handle my father's massive estate. I can't. Uh, but babe, I don't think there is anything there to prepare for. All you need is to brace yourself and handle it. Yes, I believe you can handle this, Amanda. Remember how you willed yourself and today you can walk. So just, just do it. I don't think there's anything there to prepare for. But baby, you know I was only able to walk because of your support. Because of the strength you gave me. I can only do this if you support me then I can't do it. I, I just need you to stand by me. I don't want you to ever leave me. <laughs> God forbid that I leave you. I'm here with you all through. Anything, truth, thick and thin. Then let's get married. Yes, let, let's get married at once. Oh, you, oh, you don't want to marry me? <laughs> sure, sure, I, I will marry you. Then also you have to move into the house today. Yes, that way you have to stop running away from your landlord. And I will have you by my side always. Fine, I, I'll move into the house. That way you will always be by my side. I love you. I love you too. Alex, you said you wanted to see me. Yes, I did it. I have good news. Amanda suggests that we get married immediately. What? I mean, Amanda wants me and her to get married. Alex, you're not going to marry her. Why? Why did get you say so? Get that into your head. You will not marry her. Why? Why did you do it? What do you mean, why? Why? Why did you say so? Alex, have you suddenly forgotten where you're coming from? You and me? Hi. Are we here? Yes, yeah, so. Uh -huh. <coughs> yeah. Johnny, eh? 
I know. All you people's road here, yeah, yeah. I don't even understand. Come in, come in, come in. Come in. Welcome. Eh? Mm. You can just leave it. Leave it in here. Eh. Hey. Welcome to my humble abode. Hey. I know it's not much, but eh. at least it's home. Judy, this is your abode. It's fine. Huh? Very nice. <laughs> eh? Eh, welcome. Hey. Welcome. Hey. Thank you. Hey, so tell me, how is Abba? My dear, Abba is fine, no. Everybody is fine, except for this uh, harsh season they call a recession. Yeah, I'm, I'm. My dear, what can we do? We will survive. Mm -hmm. We will try our best to survive. Um, Alex, mm -hmm. the reason I told you to come to Lagos is so that you can leave that Abba and stop chasing all the whole girls in Naba. Ah, which, which, chasing <laughs> which girls? Yeah? Excuse me, Vico, it's only you. Mm. It's only you, there, there is no girls, no girls, anything. You are the girls, all right, I'm chasing. Indeed, only story. <laughs> Anyways, um, Alex, mm -hmm. seriously, I wanted you to come to Lagos so that you can look for a job. Yes. Look for a job so that you can start saving money for our marriage. You know it's been three years now that we started dating. Judith, this idea you just brought up now is very good though. In fact, let me use this opportunity to thank you for all this small, small money you've been sending me. It's not easy. Thank you, Judith. Thank you for the financial support and everything. I appreciate you. No, it's yeah. okay. I, 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 I have to do the things that I do. I do it because... I'm in love with you, so it's not a problem, okay? Thank you very much. So, uh, have fun. Uh, how, is, how is work going? This is me, Lagos work. My dear, it's not easy at all. My work hasn't been paying off at all, but I'm just hopeful that I will get a new job. Hmm? Back to your matter. I wanted you to come to Lagos so that you can get a job. I spoke to someone about a job opening in a factory for you. Yes, and it's looking good. But tomorrow, we'll go there and see the man in charge. Thank you, Judith. No, it's okay. Thank you. It's okay. It's Bye. not a problem. Yeah? So first, just relax. Mm? Mm -hmm. Feel at home while I drop your bag and get you something to eat. Okay? Uh, that something to eat is, is swallow, Abby. Judith, but a lot have overshadowed that now. You wanted to get married to Chief and you practically pushed me to Amanda. That was when I thought that fate had smiled on me to marry Chief. Alex, I had lost Chief. And I am not going to lose you too. So I want you to get in there and tell her that you are not going to marry her. We need to leave this place. We need to start our lives again. Remember, that was why I brought you to Lagos. That marriage, that marriage is not happening. Never. Why are you doing this? What am I doing? I, th I thought you want wanted the best for me when you pushed Amanda to me to marry. But why, why all this now? No, that was because I hoped and I prayed that Chief would marry me. Uh, okay, if you had ended up with Chief, you promised to settle me, right? Yeah, the same thing goes. If I end up with Amanda, I'll settle you. I'll, I'll make you rich. No, I'll give... no, 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 no. 
Alex, I don't trust you. I know you too well. You are a one woman's man. And when you are in love with someone, <laughs> you never want to let go. So my darling, it's not happening. You're mine. No, uh, Judy, what is wrong with you? I, I, are you out of your mind? No, is it because I'm standing here listening to all this, you're rubbish? Alex, did you just raise your voice at me? Are you raising your voice at me? Are you? So you think because Amanda sings love songs to you, you think you and I are on the same level? Is that what you think? Let me jog your memory. Alex, I hold the ladder that brought you here in the first place. All I need to do is tilt my head. And you are back from where you came from. Listen. You belong to me. If I open my mouth and say a word to Amanda, <laughs> she will hate you for the rest of your miserable life. She wouldn't even have the time to say a word. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Yes. What? Did it? Did it? Why? Why are you doing this? Good boy. Now that you're back to your senses. Tell me, Alex. Do you think that I've been happy? Do you think that I have been happy seeing you both frolicking around the compound and everywhere? Is that what you think? Alex, I died of envy. But I was consoled with Chief's wealth. But now that Chief is gone, baby boy, you belong to me. You belong to your baby. You belong to me and no other woman. Julia, 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 no, Judy, 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 um, I hope you're aware that Alex and I will be getting married by the end of the month, just like Daddy planned it. Mm. And I'll be needing all the support I can get from you. Faith Bridal will be coming over in the evening with your varieties of wedding gowns for me to make my choice. And I'll be needing your advice. Um, no problem. I'm here for you. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you so much. And, Nas mm -hmm. look, I know how you feel about the loss of my father. I'm very sorry, but I want you to know that I am here for you. You can stay here as long as you want to. I would even pay you just like Daddy does. But if you want to leave, just let me know. I'll see what I can do for you. Just think about it, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank I will. You. Thank you. I'll see you around, okay? Listen, listen, you had better go and tell her to wake up from that dream because this so-called wedding that you guys are planning, it is not going to happen. Do you hear me? It is not going to happen. Go and tell her. It will not happen.
or when I've been looking for you everywhere. Baby, why are you drinking this early? Um, nothing actually. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Baby, we have to start going. You know, we have lots of places to go today. But first, we have to make our first stop at the Princess Place. All right? There's no time, baby. Let's go. Yeah, okay? sure. Let's go. Did you tell her? I did not. Why? Because the opportunity did not present itself. Look, Judith, if I must tell her, then it has to be at the right time. You do not expect me to start discussing such crucial issue just like that. Do you want her to die of heartbreak? So what? I die every single day seeing her take you away from me. Do you know how many times did I die of heartbreak knowing that you share the same bed with her? Do you? Who cares about how I feel? Who? Listen. No, Judith. I, uh, Amanda. Baby, have you filled that in on everything we did today? Yeah, that was what I was just about telling. <laughs> so much more to do still. Yes. Oh my God, honey, our wedding ring. We completely forgot to go to the jeweler's place. And you didn't even remind me. Oh my God. <laughs> How could I possibly forget such important thing? Oh. I, I'm sorry, it skipped my mind. Forgive me. It's okay. Baby, I know we've had to do a lot today, but we still have to go back and sort out our wedding ring. Okay, it's very important. Yeah. Let's just go at once. Uh, yes. No, yes. Judith, we'll be, we'll be back, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, baby. You don't dare. You don't dare. Hello? Hello? Alex, why are you not picking my call? Why are you not picking my calls? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> you are enjoying yourself around town with Amanda, right? Alex, you are drunk in euphoria of a wedding that you know that I would not agree to. No problem. I should calm down. I'm calm. I am very calm. So tell me, have you told her? Um, I, I was. Uh, I mean, I, I was about to. Uh, just that the right opportunity has not presented itself. Alex, what do you mean by the right opportunity has not presented itself? This is what I hate to hear. This is what gets me angry. What do you mean by that? Listen, if you do not take that opportunity now and tell her yourself, <laughs> trust me, I'm sure you know me, I will pick my phone and I will do it myself. No, 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 no. Judith, please, please don't. It hasn't got into that. Eh? It has not got into that. Please, eh? um, just give me a little time. I will do that myself immediately she comes home. Alex, I need you back here immediately, like right now. I said, come home now. Uh, okay, um, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm coming now. I'm, I'm coming now. Better. Nonsense. Alex, I can see that you're trying to play smart out on me. Listen, 
if anything mysterious happens to me, my lawyer knows what to do. So don't get funny ideas into your head. Judy, what's that? Why would you ever think I would think of harming you? Because I know exactly what that stupid friend of yours, HK, can put into your head. around you. Baby, my dream was for you and I to be together. That is why I brought you from Abba. Yes, baby. To come here, I left my sister. I left my mother. I left everyone and brought you here instead. The dream is for you and I to be together. Baby, please. Baby, don't, don't, don't leave me. Baby, don't leave me. Oh, okay, okay, Baby. okay, okay, Judith. Since you want me, no problem. Yeah, I, I, I want you to, but can you just give me small time to go through this marriage thing with Amanda so that we can at least make small money for ourselves? If I call it off with her now, she'll send both of us out of our house and We'll go back to the gutters where we are coming from. Is that what you want? Me, I, I, I don't want to suffer again. Can't go back to her bar. Okay, baby. No problem. Um, Amanda promised to give me some money. So what I would do is give you some time so that you can get some money from her. Then you and I can just leave. We just start our lives all over again. Hmm? Just you and I, we just go somewhere nice and start from where. where, where. Come on, touch me. Babe, I've missed you. Oh, babe. Julius, Julius. My phone is... Where is it? Are you expecting any call? No, but... Ignore it. I'm sure it's Amanda. She will be back to later. Um, <sighs> maybe she wants to know where I am or maybe tell me to help her get something. So let me just... I said ignore it. Okay. <clears throat> Come here. What? Let me just... Come here. Stay here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Jesus. Amanda. Eh. What? What is going on here? Amanda, I I, I can explain. This is why, this is why you left me, to, to come and sleep with her. No, let me explain. Um, she. Go ahead. Amanda, Amanda, it's you I love. I I I don't I. Amanda. Tell her the truth. Tell her that we are lovers. Yes. Tell her that I brought you from Abba so that we can be close to each other. Alex. Um, no. Is that true? Go yes. ahead. Come on, Alex. Don't be a coward. Tell her. No, no, no. No, no. Uh, Amanda. 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 Hey, 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 hey. hey. Hey, 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 let her go. I just made things easier for you. Come back to bed. <laughs> Come back to me, baby. Please, Judith, please. I have to see her. Please, 
I have to see Amanda, please. I have to see Amanda. Amanda! Amanda. 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 Am Amanda. Amanda, please op open the door. Amanda. Amanda. Amanda, listen. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. I can explain. Amanda. My love. Baby. Her name. Amanda. Amanda now. Amanda. Open, open this door. Amanda. Amanda, okay, okay, just just open it. Let, let me just talk to you small now. Let me talk to you. Amanda. 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 Amanda, what did you do? Why, why did you drink this? Amanda. Why? Amanda. Why did you do it? No. You promised me. Yes. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Amanda, she forced me. Mm. Everything was a makeup. Okay? You're, you're the one I love. Amanda, Amanda, it's, it's you I love. I love you. Hey, let, 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 let. Wait, 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 I'm under. It will be perfect if she decides to die. Now listen, even if she dies, I will never marry you, you are evil! You are evil. You are evil. Get out of my way! Evil. Amanda, Amanda, just hang on, hang on, Amanda! Good afternoon, Doctor. The nurse said you requested to see any of Ms. Arinze's relative that comes to visit her. Oh, I see. Um, there's a situation here, Mr. Alex. Alex, you can answer. Alex? Yes, sir. Alex, please sit down. Like I said, there's a situation on ground. Miss Arinze has kidney failure. Yes, and um, we believe it was triggered off by the overdose of drug that she took. And we are still investigating it, and at the same time, making arrangements for a possible kidney transplant. And this is because we don't want her to go through that, you know, painful, exercise of chemotherapy which is associated with the situation 
So right now, we need a donor. Doctor, please, I beg you in the name of God, do whatever you can to save her life. I beg you, please. If, if you need a donor, I'll donate my kidney. I'll donate everything. Please, please. Oh. Please. Really? Yes. Yes. Please. Very well, then. Okay. Very well. Yes. yes. Nurse? Doctor. Go and prepare the necessary papers. Okay? Okay, doctor. Um, we will go right ahead and see yes, Miss Arinze so that we can discuss this. Yes. Okay? Sir. Please, sir. You go ahead. I'll join you. Thank you, sir. Sorry about what happened. Please, it's not what you think. That is why I came here to explain to you and let you know that it's you I love. Amanda, I would never do anything to hurt you. Please, believe me. I knew about you and Judith. I knew she wanted you back. You knew? Yes, I knew. I once listened in in your conversation with her. But I wanted you to make a choice, believing you love me. But when I saw you with her, I got devastated because I had thought you've chosen her over me. Amanda, I love you. It's you I love. And I meant every word of it when I said I would never do anything to hurt you. Judith forced me. She planned everything. She plotted everything just to achieve her evil aim. Yes, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry all of this had to happen. I'm sorry. Please. Alex. Alex, I know you love me. Yes, I love you. And I know you're a good man. But what does it matter now? Hmm? I am going to die anyway. Alex, they say I have kidney failure. Death has been knocking on my door. And I believe it's about time. Don't say that. You will not die. And I know this because you are a fighter. Yes, Amanda. Remember how you fought and survived the accident. Remember how you fought and you went through the pain and grief when your dad left? Amanda, now is another time to show how much of a strong fighter you are. Amanda, don't give up. Please. Alex. Please, Alex, you've always been so supportive. <laughs> you've always encouraged me, but Alex, do you think I would make this one alive? Do you think I will make it out alive? Yes, Amanda, we will. We will, we will make it. We? Yes, um, I'm with you in all of this. I'm, I'm donating my kidney so that they can commence the surgery immediately. Amanda, I promise to be with you and never ever to leave you. Even if you die, I will die with you. Wherever you go, I will go with you. But at the end, I know we will scale through this together. Alex, you're going to do that for me? Yes, and I'll do more. Do, do you're going to risk your life for me, Alex? God. I 
feel so alive again. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> you look good. You look so good. Chief was nice to me. Amanda was very good to me. They treated me like I was family. I feel so bad that I am the one who aggravated her condition to this level. If Chief was watching in his grave, he would be so unhappy and disappointed at me. As much as I love you, and I wouldn't want to lose you, it's not enough. It's not enough to wish someone else that I just pray I pray that she survives the surgery you said you were donating your kidney yes I am. I'm also part of her problem, so I owe her the obligation to solve it. Aside that, I love her so much. I love Amanda so much. I don't want to see her go through any pain. Sometimes I, 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 I just wish I could just swap every of her pain and, and bear it all. I wish I could give her my life, give her everything. Even if it's death, I will die with her. That girl has gone through a lot. You see why I love you, Alex? This is exactly why I love you and never want to let go of you. Because when you love, you love unconditionally, no matter the circumstance or situation. This will be hard. But I have to let you go. I have to. Let me get your filter shoes. My love strengthens my resolve. Seeing you gives me the strength to go through this. Thank you. I'm ready for them. But before they bring my theater shoes, I want to remind you about something. Amanda, you recall that I always tell you I would love to register you with a modeling agency while you are still crippled. 
I still hold fair to those words. I can't wait till that day I'll just sit and watch you do magic while you're on the runway. Alex, if it is your way of encouraging me, then thank you. But I am not afraid anymore. I am not. I am not afraid anymore. Amanda, I'm here to say I'm sorry for everything. If you love Alex and appreciate him, you will understand my behavior. It's difficult to let go of someone that you love. Especially if it's someone like Alex. I hold no grudge against you. I just want you to be happy just as your father would have wanted you to be. And I am sorry that my behavior brought this condition to you. That's just it. It's okay. I understand. I understand because I know it's not easy to let go of the one you love. I understand. My greed. This is what selfishness has brought to. But I want both of you to know that I am here to support and encourage you in these trying times. I, I cannot lose the two people I love the most at the same time. No. Thank you very much, Nurse Judith, for coming. And I forgive you. Miss Alice. Miss Alice. Doctor, we are ready. <laughs> Let us thank God. Let us thank God. Because there has been a mistake. We discovered that the lab attendant who tested you and the result indicated that you have kidney failure is all wrong. Yes. In fact, she mistook one Z for you. I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I'm very sorry about this. I'm so ashamed about this. <laughs> Wait, Dr. Martens, are you saying that Amanda does not have kidney failure? Of course! Amanda is hale and hearty. She's hale and hearty. I, I'm really sorry. I'm very, very sorry. And in demonstration of this, this hospital write off all your expenses. Yes, again. Please, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Please, let me tidy up the documents. The documents, let me just go back. I am fine. Mm -hmm. I am fine. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda. Amanda. I am fine. Amanda. <laughs> I'm ready to go.
just as promised. Here, it's a check of 20 million naira. Take it. Go ahead and take it, Judith. Please, take care of yourself. that I've put you through. You still bless me with this. Thank you, Amanda. Okay. May, may God bless your marriage. Amen. Alex, I trust that you, you will take care of her. And yourself too. Goodbye. Come here. You see. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Judith. Have a good life.